Hi, everybody. Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of Pink Fresh Studios June Washi release blog hop. And I have a couple of fun projects to share with you using some of this gorgeous new washi tape, as well as a couple of the new stamps and dies. So this is the jumbo washi tape. It's fantastic. I'm going to be starting with this one here, which is called eucalyptus fantasy and i'm carefully pulling this off and this is jumbo people it's big enough to fit a standard size card so i have a panel of nina solar white cardstock here which is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and i'm carefully adhering this eucalyptus wreath and if you get any wrinkles you peel it back smooth it out i mean it goes on like butter i trim off the excess and this is where it gets a wild and crazy there's a coordinating stamp set and a coordinating die set. They're all called Eucalyptus Fantasy, and I love on the back of the packaging. Shows you how they all work together. So you wanna talk about sky's the limit on the options and different ways you can use these all interchangeably. I'm taking the coordinating dies and die cutting that washi tape wreath, you know, but like down the line, maybe you wanna do different colors. So you stamp your own wreath with the Eucalyptus Fantasy stamp set and you go to town. But I will say this washi tape wreath has a beautiful sheen to it. Almost like a little bit of metallic-y sheen. And so for my card base, I got a cream card base and I'm flicking on some flicks just to spice it up. And this is a Pink Fresh Studio uh, liquid watercolors in the color licorice. Put a bunch of foam tape on the back of that die cut wreath, pop it up. Now for the sentiment, I have this grateful scripty sentiment from a new stamp set called Floral Cluster. And there are some really beautiful sentiments in the Floral Cluster stamp set. I chose grateful, stamped that with Versifying Onyx Black Ink. And I'm going to fussy cut this puppy out so that I can pop it up right in the center of my wreath. I put a bunch of foam tape on the back of it. I also put a little foam tape right in the center of that wreath. That way you don't have a saggy sentiment. You know, there's nothing worse than a saggy old sentiment. Am I right? And then I'm going to emboss a coordinating sentiment also from the floral cluster stamp set. This says, so very. So I'm embossing this in white onto some black cardstock. I'll trim that out and I'm going to pop it up. Or should I say, I'm going to nestle it. I'm going to nestle it right there. Now to finish off this wreath, I'm going to add the most delicious little jewels you ever did see. These are from the Essentials Jewels Mix by Pink Fresh Studio. And I mean, look at that. Like good enough to eat, if you ask me. And I got one more card to share with you. And this one knocks my socks off. It's, it's using the rainbow washi tape. And here she is in all her glory. I mean, and there's different variations, which about blew my gasket. But I chose that one. Avi, smoothing that out again onto a panel of Nina Solar War Nina Solar Warshite Nina 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 Solar cardstock and don't worry I'm saving that extra don't you dare think I would throw that away like okay I put that back on the roll keeping it safe and sound so I'm gonna trim down this little panel I've got my Tim Holtz paper trimmer here and I'm trimming it quite a bit smaller then a white card base so you can have a nice white border now these are the adore alpha dies these are not new but they sure are fantastic i love them because you get two there's like an outline die and the inner die this time i'm only going to be using that skinny little outline and what i'm doing here is spelling out the word hugs but i'm being like a trendy hipster and i got the weird orientation that's how all the trendy hipsters do it from what i hear round the block but so i got the hu on top and the gs on the bottom i am using spray adhesive because i mean i don't know any other way you could adhere these skinny little letters but they do stick to the washi tape i will tell you that i popped this up on a white card base and to clarify any confusion about the word hugs i went ahead and embossed this sentiment that says sending hugs and that is from the abstract builder stamp set and this card is finished i love that rainbow washi with all of my heart i hope you enjoyed this video make sure and check out the pink fresh studio june washi release thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you next time